It's morphin' morphin time. time. Power Rangers. The Power Rangers stars Dakri Montgomery, Naomi Scott, Ludi Lin, Becky G, RJ Siler, I believe is how you pronounce his name, Elizabeth Banks, Bill Hader, and Brian Cranston. And this movie sees the return of the Power Rangers to the big screen, which we haven't seen since like 1995 or something like that, I believe the original movie was. Yeah. Somewhat along those lines. And even though it's a reboot, it follows the same basic premise that every other Power Rangers movie really has, and that five teenagers become the Power Rangers and have to stop an evil warlord, this time Rita Repulsa. Pretty sure that's how, what her name is right yeah yeah, I thought it was. I'm not a huge fan of the show. I used to watch it every now and then. I liked it, but I wasn't a religious fan. Oh, I used to watch it every single morning before school. And I used to go, 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 Power Rangers! Yeah! <laughs> I used to sing along too. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the five teenagers have to stop Rita Repulsa from bringing back Goldar. And they have to stop him from ripping a giant crystal out from their little town, which will then eventually destroy <laughs> the world. So basically, the only real motivation or threat in this is that Rita Repulsa is going to destroy their town before then going on to presumably destroy the world. And uh, Joe, what did you think of this movie? I really liked it. I really liked it. Because, I mean, ever since being a kid, I've loved Power Rangers. Despite its cheesiness, it made it so much more better for me. And I really enjoyed what they've done with it. I think they've still kept a lot of the what they had in the originals, mm. but also brought a very new spin onto things. Like, they've tried to make it um, a lot more... I want to say it's been pretentious with it. I think it's doing what it what it knows it can do. It's gone for a more grittier, realistic yeah. version yeah. of the story of the Power Rangers, and it is a more realistic, grounded version of an origin story, basically, behind these characters. And in that, when the cheesy moments do come into it, it does shift the tone quite a bit, particularly Rita Repulsa's character. Now, every other actor in this movie, especially the Power Rangers, they were great. They were surprisingly really, really good in this film. And like Joe, I believe, our favourite Power Ranger, unlike the actual show, was the Blue Power Ranger, played by R.J. Siler. I hope I'm pronouncing his name. I I'm sure I say pronounce it, but... Yeah, oh, I love yeah. He, played, so he played Billy in this film, who we know as the Blue Power Ranger, and he was so funny in this movie. He started off... I was very rude about him at first, because he started making these certain jokes, and I thought... Is he going to be an annoying character like he was yeah. in the series? But he actually grew on me quite a lot, a lot more than I thought he would. And I cared more about his character than I did anyone else's in the movie. Every other actor gave a very serious performance as well, and it worked for their characters. What I loved the most about this movie is it did flesh out these characters in a way that I don't think we've really seen on the show before. No, no, not really. I mean, they sort of came on screen, got whatever it was they got. Oh my god, we're, we're like troublesome kids. All of a sudden, the Power Rangers and the... And it's like, yeah, there's no two of them at all in the originals. But in this one, we actually get a good backstory towards yeah. them. To towards all of them as well. They flesh them out really well in this film, which when the shit was going down, basically, and they were in danger, we cared more about them. We didn't want to see them die because we cared about them a lot more than we did in the actual show. Compare that tone, the serious tone that it has there, to Elizabeth Banks' portrayal as Rita Repulsa, and the tone immediately shifts. All we have is a realistic take on the Power Rangers, and when she comes into it, don't get me wrong, I like the actress, I think she's a very talented actress, but she chose to take the character in a way that you would have seen in the actual show, and in that it did clash a lot with what was actually happening on screen. Although at the start we thought, which is quite terrifying. They did a mm. certain thing with her character where it was quite horror-like. Yeah. But when she actually became her full form, <laughs> she became very over the top and very cheesy and it just conflicted with the tone that we'd had previously. I think if they should have gone with one or other, either go all cheesy or all serious and gritty. But where they went half and half, it did clash a lot and it made you feel a bit like, don't even know where I'm standing a minute. Mm. There are some other cheesy moments in this movie as well, just with a few particular lines that I said, and they didn't really bother me that much, but again, it did conflict with the tone we brought beforehand. Other characters in this movie you have Bill Hader as Alpha 5, and if you hated Alpha 5 in the actual show, I feel like you could warm to this one a little bit more than the show, because it doesn't say I I I every five fucking <laughs> minutes, but he is still sort of that annoying character. I liked it. I mean, because I was little when I watched these, I don't really remember Alpha 5 that much from my childhood. I mean, I remember him, but not as much, and I remember him saying the I-I-I mm. um, all the time. But in this one, I did really like him. I don't know why, though, just something about him that I could be like, oh, you're, you're a cool little robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a cool little robot, you. Bit Bit like an R2D2 sort of C3PO mash. Just tapping my head, going, Oh, look at you. Yeah. We also have Brian Cranston as Zordon, who 
I think was just perfect casting, to be honest. Mm. I mean, if I'm picturing a big head having a very deep voice in a wall, giving me advice and trying to teach me how to become an awesome superhero, it would probably be Brian Cranston's voice I'd think of and Brian Cranston's head I'd think of. Yeah. Admittedly, though, when they actually got down to having their suits, their Power Rangers suits, for me, although I liked seeing them kick ass in the suits, I didn't feel like those scenes, for me, were personally directed that well. I don't know if you feel differently about that, but I thought the way the camera was moving, it could have been shot just a little bit better, in my opinion. Mm. I don't know. I, I quite enjoyed it. I got goosebumps everywhere when it started, and especially when the... did parts hmm that's one thing i also remember there were a bit at the beginning do you know when they were in where they were driving the car at the beginning when mm. they were trying to get away from cops yeah and it kept doing 360 turning yeah i thought if they did that once it'd be fine but after a bit i went really dizzy yeah i started going really dizzy and i think that would have been impressive had it been a genuine one take but i believe mm. the way it looked it looked like it had been edited in a certain way to make it look like it was all done in one take if it was all done in one take then Props to the director, but yeah, I do get what you mean. It did start to yeah. get a little bit disorienting. When it came to them actually being in their suits, that was incredibly cool to see. And of course, the Zorgs. I, I can say it because it's not really a spoiler. They're all over the posters, they're all over the trailer. And what I hated about the trailer was they showed the Megazorg. Yeah. I feel like that could have been a very awesome reveal or even just something that we put in the sequel, like they, if they brought the Zorgs in, these guys don't immediately know how to use them or even how to combine them into the Megazord. Maybe that would have been a nice surprise if they'd have kept it out of the movie and just shown it in the actual film. We'd have gone, holy shit, that's amazing. Or just saved it for the sequel, but for some reason they had to have all of it crammed in one. Yeah, I... I liked it, but I think, yeah, I do agree that they could have, like, not let people know or spoil it, because... Mm. I think, for me, personally, if I didn't know that was going to happen at all, and I saw the Zorgs, I'd be like, yeah, cool, I love Zorgs. Mm -hmm. But then when they turn into the Megazorg, if they didn't spoil it, I think I'd have felt a bit more childlike. I think that my childness had come out so much. The nostalgia like, would have come out a lot oh, yeah. more. Yeah, because yeah, I'm like, oh, Megazords, yeah! Another thing I'd like to bring up is the visual effects, and at times the visual effects for this movie were actually really, really good, but there were certain other times where it was really noticeable, and it was one of those mm. kinds where you can see it and you go, you, you could have cleaned that up a lot more. You could have made that look a lot better than it was. Mm. Overall, though, guys... This movie was tons of fun. I actually had a really good time with it. Despite my worry when I saw the trailer, I thought this was going to be an absolute heap of shit. But I was really surprised by it. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time with it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, especially because I've, I've grown up with it as being a kid. And the nostalgia feeling from that I got from it was outstanding. And I think because they did it well. I think they did it well. I think the characters were really well fleshed out and portrayed and... I really believe that the actors are very good actors and the, the actors all well. had great chemistry together yeah, as well. They did. They had really great chemistry. Yeah. I could just imagine like all adults with the kids in cinema all adults going, Oh my god all kids were like what? <laughs> what, you don't understand? All kids will be looking at the giant <laughs> Megazord going, Oh, look, big Transformer robot thing. Yeah. We're going, Transformer? Former. You little shit. <laughs> it's a Megazord. <laughs> um, but no, I, I came away from watching that with a great big smile on my face, jumping all over, singing the theme song over and over and over all night. So I will really, I, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of what they did with it. So for that, I think I'm going to give it four stars because it does have issues with it that could be worked on, but I believe when they get round to doing the sequel, I believe they can mop that up. Yeah, right. I feel like if they take the criticisms on that they're getting for this movie and put them onto the sequel, they could make a much better sequel, a much better movie than the first. But I do feel like this movie has definitely set up a good, viable franchise yeah. for the Power Rangers, to bring the Power Rangers into a new generation, basically. As you said, the actors were good, although issues with the CGI every now and then and the fight scenes could have been just a little bit more well directed in my personal opinion. I did have a good time with this film and for that I'm going to give it just a little bit lower than you. I'm going to go for three stars. So, Power Rangers, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And we will see you when we next review a film. Yes. Bye. <laughs>